hello my dear friend in this tutorial we will be building a portfolio app by using flutter framework moreover not we are not just building this app but uh, we are basically learning a lot of things by the help of this tutorial at the end of the video you will be able to build this app you will be uh, able to learn to import different packages some extensions uh, that are widely used in our um, BS codes that will be used for your lifetime and also how you can use asset images and network images and also how you can how developers use shortcut for doing their work easy and while developing something you will be able to learn that this app is a dynamic for dark mode you can just uh, yes see this the dark mode is automatically appear this is the power of the flutter you will have the restart and hot reload and hot restart functionality you know, which are pretty helpful while coding so without further doing let us begin our tutorial in this code we will be focusing on the theoretical aspect of flutter apps so first we'll learn the theory part and after that we'll go to building our app as soon as in the video so starting from the basics in flutter you know that everything is a widget just a widget can be visualized as a function with some parameters you have heard about function like uh, you can see here so here sum is a function yeah which take parameter 1 and parameter 2 and returns parameter 1 plus parameter 2 when we enter sum 5 comma 6 and this is the things we are we using here this is actually the widget flutter widget okay just visualize it visualize it that way that will be easy for you so now let's go to the other sections uh, in any flutter app let us see here first app that is made by our flutter we have app bar and this is the body section and this is the floating action button these all are included in scaffold okay a scaffold is like again a widget this again takes some widget this parameter also takes some widget here is 5 and 6 okay so 5 and 6 is also these arguments in flutter are also the widgets so these arguments in flutter again is a widget okay so there are in flutter everything is a widget so here uh, at first you will see here app bar and body section and the floating action button are some of the parameters here and they are included in the scaffold and the scaffold will take these parameters and you will provide these uh, widgets okay so in the app bar you will see here in the app bar section you can provide app bar okay app bar this the letter beginning with the capital letter is always a widget or some class and for body section the letter beginning with the capital letter is widget or some class okay it may be class or an widget here my home page is a stateless widget in further you can refer class also is a widget so here you have stateless or stateful widget uh, stateless widget means state is data okay in flutter state refers to data in flutter state refers to data any data that are used in the app okay if your app doesn't consist of some changeable data then you can use stateless widget if your app consists of changeable data then you can use stateful widget okay and they are included in material app so the actual model here is the main thing that we're gonna see is our main app my app so here in our this flutter app 
so while creating this app you can just go to your directory required directory and just click on this and press cmd and write the command flutter create uh, so here we are going to create portfolio app okay portfolio app and if you press enter it will create this folder along with the file that are included here so for opening that file in VS code you can do again um, cd and that um, project directory like port and press tab to auto complete press enter and now type code dot to open in the visual studio code so after that after running it we will have this screen as soon as in this mobile we are using pixel 4 excel api 26 to emulator here so you can click here and it will draw okay it is like mobile here now you can change this to play and if you want the old version see here uh, the whole piece has just changed if you change it to false it will go back to the uh, previous state okay it does not use material and it will use material 3 colors okay material 3 design basically so here is our main components of this first flutter project here is my app and which extends stateless widget my app is also a widget you can see here and my app consists of the material app okay material app is also widget here because it is it always take a widget so material app is also a widget it always returns a widget this build function should return a widget so material app is also a widget which has various parameters like title theme and home etc and here my home page is also a widget okay and for other sections let us see the code uh, let us do some codings you just remember my app okay first there should be my app and second there should be material app these sections can be your own okay you no need to remember this your own your own okay your own um your own classes okay this is Excalibur if you want to visit it just you can draw this beautiful amazing um, graphics there so let us build our portfolio app now so let me clear all the things here and now let us start with first command here we have to import material you can press enter for autocomplete material the dot you will see here automatic autocomplete will on and now just type void main okay and then run app and here app name you have to type a visit you have to it is taking a visit so here you should give a visit my app is a visit just press enter here the my app isn't defined okay so you have to make my app a uh, stateless visit so yes t l e s s you can press this and my app will arise okay and my app so inside my app you should consist of a material app okay material app this is again a visit because it is this build function is returning a visit so what are the parameters that are included in my app for that just press control and space bar here and you can see here these are the parameters that you can write here so the widely used parameter is this home parameter and initial route parameter are widely used and routes is widely used okay and themes are widely used titles are used okay and colors you can also use color okay so let me use colors to trade then you can see here this is our app but it is not quite good so you have to take just you have to write the home screen first for that let me write my home page okay 
this is again my home page is a widget home parameter is again taking a widget so my home page should be again formed let me form the stateless widget again okay my home page okay just press that and it will be done and here if you give the scaffold then the app will change here okay just you have to restart first then the you can see here the complete white screen this is called the scaffold and again scaffold will take some parameters just press ctrl and spacebar to see some parameter see this app bar is widely used and background color body section is widely used here and um, in the previous one floating action buttons is widely used it again is a widget here here you can see bool this is a bool type of parameter so you can see which one is the use widget and use those uh, types of parameters only like drawer okay button seat and button navigation bar body this is also a widget just search for the widget and use those things like here i am going to use on um, the app bar first app bar again if you hover over this app bar it will see uh, you prefer size widget app bar okay so you have to give the preferred size widget first okay here you have to form preferred size widget then again after that actually this is showing something wrong because we have to give app bar here app bar is a preferred size widget type okay just give app bar just remember this line what i am going to write just remember this it will be so much helpful for you in later days so app bar is here and again press ctrl space bar and now she what is there like you can see a lot of things here but the widely thing is the title okay and then the title will again take a visit here is the visit okay if you hover over there then the title will again take the visit like text text is also a visit here the widely used widgets are text and stateless visit stateful visit yeah you can again convert by going to this section and convert to stateful visit for converting it into stateful visit okay but for now we are uh, only getting familiar with the stateless widget we'll see st about stateful widget in next classes so let us name our app portfolio app okay so see this is our um app bar so you cannot separate the difference so let me give some elevations to this so you can now separate the first part and the body part of the scaffold widget the scaffold is again a widget initially i was confused with this type of uh, comma and not comma sort of things so if you remove this comma then auto formatting will again make you in the single line okay this app bar just uh, click on that and it will highlight the other section so you will be able to see where it is starting and where it is ending and you can press comma at the end so it will format vertically or formatting in uh, horizontally just format it vertically it will be so easy for you in later days so this one is the app bar argument okay this one is the app bar parameter or argument you can say anything mm, they are used interchangeably so now this is the app bar the comment this comment is automatically generated okay and uh, this comment is written by me and just press on the app bar that is generated by the um flutter itself so click there and now i will press control space bar so now press control enter and there will be the body section so inside the body section you will have a widget called column it is widely used widget you will be amazed by the by this okay so column always have children's for visualization i'll show you this is a column yeah it's like table 
you have some tables and these are the columns yeah this one column represents this it is represented by column okay like this okay so in the column we are going to build a screen pursuing our image that we can extract from the uh, network or assets and we are going to show here our name name section here okay we can show our email section here okay and uh, you can show your phone or something like that anything you want you can show here and uh, we'll be showing how to make this fit okay fit completely on the screen if it, it won't fit there will be the scrollable yeah somebody may have the smaller screen size and somebody may have the bigger screen size so we'll be making that this is a column and a column always consists of some rows yeah uh, some Childs, okay. These are the child one, child two, child three, child four. These all are childrens, okay. These all are childrens inside a column. This whole thing is a column, and these all are childrens of a column. So now we are going to build that. This is a column, and now we have image dot asset okay image that asset we have to get the asset name so let me make a new folder here uh, of the name image and just import my image quickly so let me download the image image quickly let me see a person okay you can get some portions okay so you can use some you can again use the link for your image but i'll show first how can you do by using it with the asset okay just give it the name my image and just press enter and now just go to the screen and drop it here and just you have to import the image folder into your prospected ml file you can see here this you have to uncomment this line okay just press ctrl and slash that will uncomment everything but we only have this image it's left just press ctrl s it will automatically it will automatically recognize everything and uh, there are not any errors so let me go to main the dot and then images image slash okay okay i have one mistake here i should rename these these images okay no, just press the asset directory images doesn't exist. Try creating okay. We have lib slash images, so you are inside lib folder. Okay, so if we want to create this image outside of the lib folder, just don't write this section here. No, you have lib slash images slash just press my image image dot my image dot cpg okay oh i just forgot this here should be the children okay here the children there should be the list of visit this should be the list of visit and just press comma and there you have the images in your app 
Okay. There is images in your app. So now, what you have to do is make it circular. So you can just uh, go to this bulb icon and just wrap it with it. I'm going to wrap it clip oval or clip or rectangular for rectangular image or oval image. Okay, just press this. See here you have grouped your image in a circular shape. Just make it smaller and just go here image asset and just uh, here you can have size. No, there are no any sizes. Just go to image asset and just search for size is there any size or something uh, that is good for you like fit you have box fit dot contain no change just you can directly see the changes that is the benefit of the flutter fill no change just you can try something like fill with if no changes is happening, just reload the page and you will see the changes instantly. This is the clip oval, and here is one section like width. Width you can take 200, okay? It will reduce the size. It is not center, so for doing the center, just go here clip oval. You are in the clip oval with it, okay? Then just press this and wrap with center here this bulb is very helpful so just wrap it center and everything will and press ctrl s everything will be centered here okay now now we should have name here okay so let us go here and just type we want text okay so text name Some random one okay see here you are seeing this uh, it is not bold neither um, neither beautiful okay so and it is compact here there is no sorts of spacing out there so just go and do the size box with some heights like 20 height and remove this comma so that it will not format vertically and pray always use comma after a visit okay for using next visit because these are in these are the children's of our column visit okay you can see here this is our main visit and these are the children's okay these all are the children of the column visit and we have the main visit is the scaffold and after that we have a bar visit and text visit and finally column visit column now the children of the columns are center and clip oval is inside the center so this is center and sized box and text these are the three there are three children of the column widget so and here you can see in the output screen it has shifted by 20 pixels now you have to bold this text okay so just press here comma and press control spacebar to see some of the features that we are going to use here just remember there is a style section here we need that and if we hover over style it will show you text style just you can copy this and press here paste and um, use the bracket and after that provide some parameters out there like there you can change the color and you can change background color you can use some pants and decoration color and you can use different font here from the font family sections okay so uh, we will be using here font weight font weight help us to make the both okay so if you hover here font weight okay here is some autocomplete that will help a lot in for so it will be easy for us to code see here it is now bold okay now again if you want to increase the text size text size for that just go here and 
just press control space bar and here is the font size okay and then you can define font size like 18 so this is looking quite beautiful so let me leave for now and we'll be changing those in few moments later now the text section is completed so again if we want to use the same text box for different um different line text you can just use three columns okay three columns here like in the input and the output section multi-line okay and use here and just to use like uh, email xyz at the rate gmail.com and phone like uh, you can press uh, 9 8 something something 1 2 3 4 x okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 down to well okay okay you can press this so if we save this here you can see the formatting here mm, it can be just corrected by going to this space okay by going to this space so this is a big problem here this one is the big problem here just you can use backslash n for formatting okay like this this is your portfolio section now let us do something more interesting i want to change the font okay font of the name you can again use the different text section for each of these like again use another text uh, for the email yeah for the email just remove this backslash n will automatically do that and again control c press here control b and just remove this phone from here and place it here okay okay yeah here it is now let us change the font using package so let us start the package for the package section you can go to pop the tape okay pop the tape section and here you will be using a uh, package called google font okay now google font is widely used package here so you can design everything see here google font okay so for installing this package just you have to do nothing just go here and copy this command and on your vs code terminal just press ctrl v now the google font package will be automatically added to our flood project for seeing this where the package is actually added you can go to pubspec.ml file and here you can see google font okay this is the version that we are using at this time so now let us go to the main page and uh, I think we have guessed here you can start font family right font family and you can use Google fonts for that you have to import Google font for this you can import I just should need them. For this, you can import Google Font here. Here is the Google Font, and it is unused for now. Now we are going to use it. So, for importing the Google Font, you can go to put the tip, and uh, here is the import how to import it. Just go here, and and then after that just press uh, 
for importing just go here and write the import code and after that on the font family just write google fonts here you can access the google fonts with it now google font is a font uh, font family google font google font dot two string so for that you can see the image section here you have to add the google font mm. this you can go on the readme section and for uh, using google font dot -E 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 you can see here in the screenshot yeah and then use style and google font dot okay you can do that so now i'm going to use style and google font dot roboto for now and just let me google font dot roboto google font dot roboto for now this is a mistake so you can do this just do it this way and again replace restart restart the app you can see here the font of the phone has been changed okay let me change the font of the phone also it hasn't been changed it but let us see some of the amazing fonts like able okay So what restarting it? See, start debugging, and let me restart our app. After adding some packages, we have to again start our app. So this is it and you can use other various fonts like LaTeX okay mm, Latter and font size 48 to display large and you can use everything like text style font size font weight font style inside the Google fonts to Latter okay so you may wonder how can I increase the size of this uh, so here again you can find the font size and just you can change the font size to uh, 40 so this is the apple font and let me change to roboto and you will see instantly the font changed rapidly okay? so let us change something amazing font uh, you can write which type of font you want like uh, Oh, let's take any font like this yeah this is phone number yes just I'm typing the random number here and this is the email just you can again increase the font size here font size you can increase to 40 so it is not looking that beautiful so you can just uh, do it to 20 and again you can increase the font size here to 40 yeah and it is not fitting then this instantly you can see the result in the output which is very interesting in flora so now if we want to add the vertical height here just use the size box again with height parameter is 20 and just like this and just copy this and 
again press here to add the height again so now you have learned to use oh, asset images for using the network images just you can come down and asset images and from this start to this int asset images int okay yes. asset images int just click here and control any um, forward slash to comment out everything and just use another thing here image dot network here and here you can give the link directly to our flutter app and everything will just happen in instant like if you want to click this portion and copy image link and just press ctrl f and now you can show this see the image is instantly changed okay this is oval shaped so let me change the shape to something clip circle clip rect okay there are various things you can do rectangular shape yeah and click oval click rect and you can define clip path also no change is happening here clip behavior we should define for uh, just leave it to clip rect it is looking nice so if you want to change the uh, portfolio app and so for now this is it and again if you want to make your app look beautiful you can use one thing you can use flex color scheme it is widely used package just with two lines of the code pop point is 130 which is greater than 100 so it is good and 90% is quite a good uh, color scheme so for installing this just copy this and come to a code section terminal and just press enter the flex color scheme packages will be added here with the version 7.3.1 already and go to that file where you can use the package uh, you can use in the material app section here where there is a theme okay and flex color scheme flex color scheme that light you can use here but the flex color scheme is not different you can press control dot no control dot is not working for now so you just have to copy this and press here control v just import it flex color scheme at light and now you can use you can see the redmi section here just um like this material app inside material app you can use this theme theme of that section just copy this and go to your file and inside material lab just paste those lines and you can have quite a beautiful uh, app bar with uh, um, changeable features like uh, with uh, dark mode and the uh, bright mode automatically okay if you just change it from the uh, light to dark just your app changes automatically quite amazing right and from dark to light just this command you can again use uh, some buttons to control this behavior which we will see in other videos of this channel you can consider watching those ladder so again you can change the theme here also you have a lot of themes like if you want blue just press ctrl s the blue section will change and uh, burma blue different styles are there okay blue if you want these are widely used professional colors and you won't have to worry about anything about the ui you get a lot of packages which you can use in your project okay mm -hmm. according to your needs you can just define these colors and again there are lots and lots of 
um, Bellu you can use like yellow okay so this too is what you like something like big stone okay and this professional looking so this is our app and for the dark section just press ctrl s and it will automatically change to dark section okay and big stone dark section so mm, this is our portfolio app for that we have seen some shortcuts that are widely used um like control the space bar and other shortcuts as we have used in our videos um, and we have seen the theory of the flutter in detail so for now thank you so much for watching guys thank you